<clears throat> Hello everyone, it's Drake to Five here. Today is February 22nd, and I just finished this floating crank ghost project that I've been working on for a couple weeks now. Uh, this idea has been in the haunted community for over 10 years. Uh, I never really knew how to make one until recently. I watched a tutorial video, and I thought I could simplify it with something I could afford and something I have space for. Uh, the stand's only about seven feet tall, and it's a mixture of PVC pipe and wood. Uh, this is one fourth inch PVC, and this is three fourths inch PVC, and it's powered by a 110 volt five rotation per minute motor. And I have a 12 gauge wire hooked through the shaft hole, and a piece of wood on the end of the lever, and that attaches the fishing line. Um, the stands I've had since 2015, uh, used it for multiple projects, but I think this is the best project I've used it for. Uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm glad it actually worked. Uh, originally the whole stand was going to be PVC and I was going to stick it into the ground, but, uh, it was too top heavy and it was leaning forward like it is a little bit here, but. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I'll probably have a weight on the base on Halloween night, so it doesn't fall over or anything. Uh, the ghost is <clears throat> a Dollar Tree skull that I painted, so the details will pop out a little bit more. Uh, these hands are scrapped from a Sunstar prop. Um, uh, originally, there was going to be wire in the elbows and arms and stuff, but the motor, if there's too much weight on the motor, it's gonna turn around, cause watch. And I, it kept doing that. Uh, so I decided to take it out and it just, it looks the same, it looks fine. Um, very happy with how this turned out. Uh, I did not expect it to work. Uh, I greased up the fishing line a little bit on these edges right here, and I sanded down these uh, caps so there wouldn't be any fishing line getting cut or any of that, because this, this uh, line uh, got cut earlier when I was working on it. Um, so... I replaced that and I sanded down those parts and I put grease on there because it was making a little bit noise. It was like a scraping sound, so. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm glad this turned out well. And I have more, I have another project I'm working on. It's gonna be a scarecrow and it's gonna be powered by another one of these motors. Um, so I'll make a video on that when I'm working on it again. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be a demo video. Thank you.